I was born a female named Maritza. I am now a man named Mark. I hated everything I saw. I even tried marrying a man, but it didn't work. I had my breasts removed and uh, continued with my hormonal therapy. When you first started taking male hormones, hair starts coming on your chest and you have breasts. Genitals don't make a man. <laughs> Take a look at this wedding video. Now, that was Maritza as a beautiful bride. But underneath that smile was a very unhappy woman who really wanted to be the groom. That's right, she wanted to be a man. Now, this is what Maritza looks like today. Her name is Mark. And Mark finally became the groom he always dreamt of because he is now married to a woman named Violet. Now, listen to why a woman named Maritza wanted to become a man named Mark. I was born a female named Maritza. I am now a man named Mark. Growing up was very difficult. I felt I was a little boy trapped in a girl's body. I literally cried myself to sleep at night. I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be a normal kid. When I looked in the mirror, I hated everything I saw. I even tried marrying a man, but it didn't work. I tried pleasing everybody, but I couldn't even please myself. The turning point for me was at 35 when I took on bodybuilding. It made me realize how much I wanted to be a man. Two years ago, I decided I was tired of living this lie. I went for a consultation to have my breasts removed and um, continue with my hormonal therapy. At 38 years old, I met the most amazing woman, my soulmate. When I look at my husband, Mark, I see a man, not the woman that he was born as. Last year, I made her my wife. And ever since then, I've never looked back. Violet is my family now. I just love him. I'm crazy about him. I think he's the sexiest man alive. I just want to be respected and, and, and have people not look at me with pity or look at me like I'm some sort of a freak. I'm a man. More man than many men that I know. And we're going to meet Mark's wife, Violet, in a moment. But first, her name, listen, remember, once was Maritza. Now he's Mark. And here he is, Mark. Mark, come on up. Well, who would have ever thought? Definitely. That you were this person? Wouldn't mind marrying somebody like that, but definitely not who I was intended to be. What's going on below the belt? Could I ask you what's going on below your belt? Well, <laughs> okay. Let me tell you what, Maury. At eight, eight weeks gestation, the brain gets bathed with hormones. Normally, let's say my brain was bathed with testosterone. The body didn't follow suit. So Mother Nature played an awful trick on me. You were married, weren't you? Yes. As a woman. I had to play the role. I had to please my mother. I had to please society. But at the same time, you were a different woman than most women because you, you never fully accomplished the sexual act as I, a woman. I couldn't, as if I would ask you right now. You were a woman. Yes. You had all the woman things. But basically, you remained a virgin. Yes. I didn't even ever use tampons or anything like that like normal women would. It felt awkward. It felt like weird. So when did you decide to do all this? When you were 35 years old? 37 years old, more or less. Did your husband know of these feelings you had? I was very truthful to him. I told him that I've never been attracted to men. And I said, you would have to have patience with me. I actually got married to please my mother, Mari. She had a car accident, and she was very ill. And she told me that, please marry him. If you love me, marry him. So I did it for my mother. So then, after the marriage, you became a bodybuilder. Yes. And, and why'd you do that? Look at that physique. I wanted that allowed you me want, to you have. At least look what, uh, uh, like a well turned out body, whether it be female or male. Exactly. It made me feel at home. Did you have a mastectomy? Yes. I've had everything removed. There's no breasts. There's no, no internal organs at all. No female internal organs at all. You felt so much like a boy that as a kid. After you saw your father go to the bathroom, you used to go to the bathroom as a boy, even as a girl. Yes. You would stand up. I would stand up, and unfortunately, it would dribble all up through my legs because I didn't have the proper equipment. 
when you first started taking male hormones, and I guess this means to, what, produce hair on your chest and hair on your face and things like, what was that like? It was great. It was great. great. It was wonderful. It was actually a dream come true. You start hearing your voice change and develop, starting to see the little hairs that started coming out, looking in the mirror and starting to see the mustache. And then the first time you actually got to shave and watch you know, the actual now, beard you, you took the hormones before you had the mastectomy. Correct. So basically, you had facial hair, your voice is dropping, hair starts coming on your chest, and you have breasts. Yes, not a pretty picture. Wow. Now, you're married. Yes, sir. To a woman. A wonderful woman. How long after she met you did she know how you came about? She actually met me when I was still a female. Wow. Yeah. Very masculine female because I was taking my hormones, but she met me as a female and she was very attracted to me. Well, we sat down with Violet earlier and this is how she felt about Mark. Watch. I'm here today to support Mark because I love him and I want him to know that he can always count on me. When I first met my husband, Mark, three years ago, as a woman, his name was Maritza. When I think of all the pain and the hurt that Mark has gone through growing up as a girl, it really breaks my heart because I truly believe that he should have been born a boy. Mark is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love him with all my heart. I love and respect him and honor him so much, and I feel he's just so wonderful, and I'm very blessed to have him. Everyone, welcome Violet. Here's Violet. <laughs> wow, I forgot that you had met each other when he was a woman. What does this mean? Does this mean that you were looking for a woman? Were you, I mean, what, what was going on there? Um, I liked women. I liked masculine women, like Mark was at the, t at the time. And I saw him, I laid eyes on him at the gym and I fell in love with him. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. So Mark. you basically didn't see gender? No, not at all. Love has no color or gender. Right. Ah. You love from the heart, and you love unconditionally. Okay. All right. So how, how's your intimate life? How's... It's wonderful. He's the best lover I've ever had. Making love to a woman is that, making love. You're caressing. You become one. Well, I'll tell you, I've learned a lot. And you're a great spokesman for, for this. I mean, this is quite remarkable. I have a little something. I'm still looking for, I'm telling you, I do this all the I mean, I'm sitting inches from this guy, and I'm looking for one little, that's the fraction of Maritza. I can't see a thing. I have one important thing that I want to say, Maury. I want the viewers to know that being transgender is not a sin, a crime, nor deviant behavior. What it is, is hormonal imbalance, a birth defect that was created at eight weeks gestation where the brain and the body failed to communicate. Because of this birth defect, there are suicides, hate crimes, overall bigotry between religious groups. We are human beings with feelings, and all we ask is for respect to be able to be able to mend our birth defects and to have doctors involved and help us along in our disease to make us whole again. Remember this, God created all living creatures. And as part of one of God's greatest creation, I stand before you all and plead, please stop hating and start understanding. <laughs> Open up your hearts and your minds and realize that we are God's children too. Amen. Thank you, Mark. I Thank appreciate you. you coming. It's been terrific. Thank you very much, Violet. Nice to meet you. We'll be back right after.